This is Lesson 2.2, Creating Drawings from a Model. Our learning outcomes from this lesson are to learn how to create drawings from a model, learn the basics of viewports and sheet layers, learn how to annotate viewports, learn how to quickly create viewports, and learn how to change the model and update the viewports. Let's get back into Vectorworks. We have the 3D model of our project, this one here, and what we'd like to do is to create drawings from this. Now the concept we're going to use is a viewport. Now the idea behind a viewport, it's like looking at a live photograph, a live image of this model. I'd like you to change from a custom view to a front view. Here it is here, front. And also change your perspective to orthogonal. So now we're looking square onto our project. Now this could actually be what we need for an elevation of our project. That's what we're going to create. So let's use our rectangle tool. I'm going to click here to start. Just check my rectangle settings. And I'm going to click here to finish. You might notice the rectangle highlights. It's also on a 3D plane here. And I'm going to change that to screen plane. Now it's important that you change this to a screen plane. You just have to. Next we're going to go to view on the menu bar. We're going to create a viewport. Here it is. These are our viewport settings. So we're going to name this viewport. So it's going to be, uh, this is a bollard. So it's a bollard elevation. And I usually put VP so that I know that this is a viewport name. Bollard Elevation Viewport. We're going to create it on a new sheet layer. So just here we're going to create a sheet layer. So the difference between a design layer and a sheet layer. Design layers are for drawing, sheet layers are for printing. So we're going to create a printable sheet layer. 001 and this is going to be my Bollard Drawings. So give it the number here, give it a title, click OK and that'll create our drawing for us. So we've got our sheet layer, we're going to create a label, this is label number 2, this is going to be our elevation, we're going to create a number 1 which is going to be our plan. So let's call that elevation, how do we want to display this front view? We're going to display this as a hidden line rendering, it's going to be orthogonal, 1 to 1 scale, no 1 to 1 is not going to fit, we're going to have to make this 1 to 5 scale here lead detail level high and those are all my settings so I don't want to go into a lot of detail over this because later on when we do a drawing of a building we're going to go into a bit more detail let's click OK and there is my elevation on my piece of paper there it is there scale 1 to 5 so I have my elevation on my piece of paper what I'd like to do now is create a plan before we go too far though, how about we put a title block on? I've gone my, to my Dims and Notes tool set, my title block border tool just here. Come to this area, double click. Now there's some preferences we need to fill in. Here are my preferences. We could use a standard title block. There's one there we could reuse. There's also some very simple ones. We could use a simple title block like this one. Let's select that and OK. And there's our title block on our piece of paper. Now the title block settings have got the border going around. Let's have a look here. Title block settings here. If I click on that button, it opens my title block settings. And you can see here that my sheet border has got all these little arrows. They're all grayed out, which means that my style is controlling this. If I go back to my style here and we edit my style, here it is here, so I can say is uh, yes, fit to printable area, fit to outside dimensions. Uh, this needs to be much smaller than that, so 0 0.05. I don't want much of a border around there. Uh, 0 0.05, 0 0.05. 0 0.05. I like to hide the border. And then I've got my grids here, my zones, my crop marks, none, no crop marks. And it just shows me just a title block. Let's OK that. 
and there it is so I just end up with just a title block so I've got my elevation I need my plan to go down here and I need a side view over here or I could do a third angle projection have the plan at the top so I can put the plan here so back to my design layer so I just click here on my layers button let's go back to my design layer and now I'm going to change to a top view now just notice I'm still in orthogonal here so a rectangle again so we can use our rectangle tool you can use your keyboard shortcut your hotkey which is key 4 let's create a rectangle there and we're going to change this to screen plane again and then go view and create viewport so this is going to be my viewport name is my bollard plan VP viewport drawing label this is going to be my plan so it's going to kind of call it plan it's going to create my label my rendering is hidden line rendering or dash hidden line might be even better for this project scale one to five again and my projection is still orthogonal click OK and there's my plan so I can now grab my plan now I'm going to use my snap cursor here you notice it changes to the cross it's my snap cursor click and drag touch that point there wait for the little red square to appear move your cursor vertically up let go of your mouse button so now I've got my plan up there I've got my elevation here and the red borders that are going around here these mean that I need to update so let's click on the update button and you can see I've used my dashed hidden line rendering so I can see the dash of the cutout below so that's pretty cool so let's go back to our design layer so back up to here click on our layers button back to our design layer so now we're going to change to a side view just go up to here our current view and we'll go uh, we want to look at this from the right side let's zoom out and use our rectangle tool again so I'm using my hot key which is key 4 draw my rectangle screen plane again and then view create viewport so this viewport is my right view VP it's number three and it's my side elevation scale one to five again dash to the line and okay so there it is there I just need to line these up so if I just grab hold of this touch that point there wait for my little red square let's line that up and those two line up ideally I guess I should have a 45 degree line from here and what I should really have is that line comes across to there and from there comes down and those two should actually touch and line up that way get rid of my construction lines and there are my viewports so there they are I'm gonna separate them a little bit more because I'd actually like to put some notes on so I'm just gonna drag that across my viewports need updating let's go view on the menu bar and we will choose update all viewports and now they're all updated so I got plan elevation side elevation we just need to learn how to annotate some of these let's zoom into this one for example right click on part of your viewport and we'll choose edit annotations so now I can use my dimensioning tool now we've used dimensioning previously so we know that we can click there and we can click there there's my size click here and there is my size just make sure it stays inside the printable area what about chain dimensioning so I can click here to start click at that corner pull my cursor out and then click and then double click to finish so that's how I can edit my annotations I can put notes I can put dimensions I can put call outs when I'm finished I click on that button and out I come right click edit annotations again now you'll notice at this point I can't see my other viewports there's a button here that allows me to do it which is this one here which is show other objects it's a quick preference which I keep over here or Vectorworks keeps over here and I've got it turned on when I activate that you can see there's my other information so from here click there click there and you can see what I can do is now line up with that point click once double click to finish 
and that's the only dimension I need really so I've now got enough to finish that drawing so now we've learned about creating drawings we've learned about the basics of viewports and sheet layers we've annotated we really should uh, create some quick elevation tools on the menu bar workspaces I'm going to change back to my architect workspace there it is there view create multiple viewports so this is going to create viewports at 1 to 5 scale we're going to use third angle projection top front right and it creates the drawings for me there it is you can see it's created my elevation so quickly it's just magic let's update all of those so if I select all of those and update them there are my viewports so that is a really quick way of creating viewports that one called create multiple viewports it was just here create multiple viewports and it does goes and creates the viewports that you need if we go back to our design layer and we make a change to our model here it is here let's curve off some of these edges or round some of these parts of our design so I'm still in my architect workspace I'm going to change back to my fundamentals there we are let's look at our 3d rendering and we could fill it or chamfer some of these edges so let's give us one inch radius that edge that edge that edge that one let's do that one that one and that one so I'm just holding down my shift key to select multiple edges and you can see it's made quite a change to my model back to our active layer back to our bollard drawings and view and let's update all our viewports again and you can see they're updated it's a really quick way of updating your drawings this is the end of lesson 2.2 in this lesson we learned how to create drawings from a 3d model we learned the basics of viewports and sheet layers we learned how to annotate viewports we learned how to quickly create viewports and we learned